Well, this has been an incredible year of challenge for myself and family. I've never been sick, and all of a sudden I started having these like sharp pains in my, in my torso. Uh, not knowing what it was, I began to go through the process of the doctors and so on. And in April, May, uh, they put me in the hospital, and that's when we did a, a kidney biopsy and a bone marrow um, uh, biopsy. And they discovered that I had this disease called amyloidosis. And it's a disease, a blood disease, that um, uh, it's so rare that it's, the doctor said it's three in one million get this disease. At the beginning, I was so uh, weak and no energy, couldn't walk, all those things. So it's been, it's been, uh, and it's drawn Linda, uh, uh, us closer. You know, we've always been very, uh, um, you know, we've loved each other unconditionally for forever. And, uh, but this, this has caught, because we, I needed her. I needed her to drive. And that was a challenge. <laughs> because I'm the macho one that does all the work, you know does that kind of thing but I've had to depend upon others to do things that I couldn't could no longer do this disease can affect every organ of your body we didn't know if I was going to make it on Wednesday we had had an appointment with our uh, specialist dr. Larson Sarah Larson and uh, uh, the the kidney doctor was surprised he said, your kidney is functioning normal. Uh, the cancer doctor is surprised that I'm doing so well. He said, from the first time you came in here and where you are today, it's, it's such, there's such a difference, you know, noticeable difference. My heart has not been affected by this. And uh, my echocardiogram shows that it's functioning normal. So my, all of my organs are normal, and that is such a miracle. And then Dr. Sarah Larson said last uh, yesterday that um, she is so pleased with the process. And you know, I do a blood test every, uh, every Friday, and so they're keeping count of that. And my uh, light change chain um, that they, they determine this, this effect of the amyloidosis. It's normal. There's three different light chains that they look at. It's normal now. I mean, this is a miracle of God. It's been, it's been an incredible um, personal challenge for us. Never, never knowing um, a sickness like this that it has given us a whole dimension of compassion for people going through things that um, uh, I, I've always been compassionate, always been, um, you know, pr pray for people and so on, but to experience this and, and, and knowing that it's only God, you know, that, um, that is able to really bring you through it. And one of the things that we've noticed is through this, we've grown so much closer to God. It's because during the time of pain, when it was excruciating pain, uh, it would, we would cry out and just begin to ask God, help us, you know. Uh, Thanksgiving, uh, I just felt uh, with the family around, I says, what are you thankful for? And. I started and then went around the table. Linda was the last one to share. And she said something that blew us all away. She says, I'm just thankful that I still have him, speaking of me, because during the time, we didn't know if I was going to make it. So God has been so amazing in this whole process. I just, I, I just want to thank everyone. For our, I want to look into the camera and say thank you for the prayers that you have prayed for me, for us. Because without that, I know that we wouldn't be 
in this place of health today that we are. I, I'm just so thankful. And uh, the, the notes and the cards and the texts that you have sent to us, thank you very much for all that you've done for us in that respect. It's not over yet. Uh, we're going to look at it, continue to look at it, but we're, we're thinking about going on a maintenance program. A maintenance program would be something that I would do maybe every other week and maybe do less uh, of the chemo, but we're on a great path to health and it's because of God.